Morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Friday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, what a week. I mean, I got to be completely I'm pretty fried. I'm fried. We've had a fantastic week in the room. We're sitting at above 100 handles just on the week. I mean, that doesn't even go into last week, which was a very good week. So, you know, my, my thought all through the summer had been, you know, we got to endure this really lousy summer market. Lousy summer market. Uh, that was tight and compressed and the whole deal. But now, I mean, you're seeing the ranges widen up. Now, you know, Tuesday night into Wednesday, I mean, that's that, that's an extreme exaggeration. But what I would expect to see all the way through Inauguration Day is wider ranges, more opportunities, a much better trader's market. And, and not to the extremes we've seen this week, but like I was saying earlier this week, you know, if we're going 100 miles an hour Tuesday, Wednesday, that backs off to about a solid 70 to 75 miles an hour, you're going to have a lot of opportunity, certainly enough opportunity to make the kind of goals that, that people should reasonably set for themselves as, uh, as individual traders if you respect size and if you respect risk. If you don't respect size and you don't respect risk, then you're going to be too heavy, you're going to get stubborn, you're not going to respect risk, and that one trade or those two trades is going to undo a lot of the good stuff that you've been able to accomplish over the course of days and, and, and weeks and months. So keep that in mind. Yes, it's a great trader's market, but any market, you know, with volatility, it's a double-edged sword. If you don't respect risk, it'll, you know, it'll take a big hole out of you, and it'll take a big hole out of your brain, and it will keep you out of a lot of opportunities that if you've just taken a very reasonable loss, you know, a couple handles, two, three, um, you know, it, you get right back on the horse and, and keep trading. But you take that big, gigantic loss, and it's going to, you know, it, it's going to keep you out of the pool when, when you should be in there swimming with everybody else. Now, as far as the tape goes, we've settled kind of into this 2170s to 2150 kind of a thing. And whoever's going to win next week is going to conquer that range. So we got to see where next week's weekly pivot comes out um, and get into Sunday night, Monday. Um, you know, today is, you know, today's a holiday. Um, happy Veterans Day. Thank you for um, your service. Everyone who served, um, you know, there isn't enough thanks that we could ever possibly give. Uh, so I would expect as we get into the afternoon, to see volume kind of drop off, and that's just going to make this this crazy tape even thinner and give it more of an ability to move. So as we get into the into Friday afternoon, what we're probably going to do in the room is gear down. I mean, we we we're we are done many times over, uh, and you know we're getting in the habit of when we get to Fridays and things start to really chop, and in the middle of, middle of the day into the afternoon to just really kind of stop what we're doing and you know it's important to recharge your batteries as a trade especially after a week like this so i would encourage people just don't do anything to screw up your week this week if you had a good week and if that means you don't trade today then go go relax go relax go engage with the outside world you've done your job it's not your job as a trader to sit at your desk every waking moment of every day and constantly be in a trade and feel like you have to trade every inch of a tape you don't it's your job to hit the reasonable goals that you've set for yourself and um, then recharge your batteries, come back and do it again. That's that that's you know, that's what you're there to do. So let's see let's see what happens if we get up above seventy. If you do, then you got the weekly highs up in you know eighty, eighty one. The only thing left after that is the all time high ninety one half. If you break fifty I've got an arrow there for retracement potential back down to the uh, to the daily mid band, which is sitting around 2128 today. I mean, it's no, I mean, this is not some, you know, this isn't rocket science. It's just a lower band, middle band, upper band, upper band, middle band, lower band kind of a thing. If it wants to trade like that through November, December, January, um, I mean, it's going to be prime handle harvesting type action. And what I mean by that is the E-mini likes to trade those yellow lines, the Bollinger Bands, from the upper to the middle band, which is the green line, to the lower band. 
Sometimes it plays out very slowly, like it did this summer. Uh, sometimes it plays out too quickly, like it did Tuesday and Wednesday. But when it settles into a rhythm, it becomes a very nice environment. Okay, everybody, everybody have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic weekend. Follow us over at Twitter, at Princeton Trader. Come check out the website, princetontrader.com. Come check out the chat room. If you've never checked us out, if you've checked us out, if, um, you know, if I haven't seen you in a few months, if I haven't seen you in a couple of years, uh, it's prime time. Uh, and we would love to meet you. Uh, we would love to have you back. Come on in and let's trade. Uh, I will be back Monday morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.